Good evening everyone, this is Chris from the 365. I just flew a drone video, but I managed to forget to actually press the record button for the video. So it went to Facebook Live, but I didn't, I won't be able to upload it in high quality. So I thought I would give you a little tour of where I'm at anyway. So right now, behind me, yeah, I am at Bedrock Park today, by the way. Um, behind me is the mighty Feather River, this time contained in Bedrock Park itself. See that? And I'm standing right next to the old outlet. See, that has been smashed by the three different flows that have come out, the three spills that have come out. The river level right now is at uh, 13,000 cubic feet per second and the reservoir level is about 827. It's been a few hours since I checked last. Um, they are making headway against the uh, inflows that are coming in. So that's the best news about the whole thing. Up at the dam today, they have started actually full demolition and um, they are, I should warn all of you guys not to go into that area because they are actually blasting up in that area and they called it aggressive blasting. So they mean that it's going to be um, not open blasting where rock is flying everywhere just to just to make sure that in case something happens there's no people around to get hurt so don't go up into that area uh, there is plenty of the feather river area to explore as you might be able to see behind me there we have actual people at bidwell um, sorry at bedrock park right now so there are some people out here enjoying the water. I just saw a kayaker. I talked to a very nice fisherman who had caught um, quite a few large steelhead, he said, just down in this little area right there. Caught a few large steelhead there, so that is great to hear. Uh, as you can see, uh, I've just flew the whole thing, so I know that the outlet up front is also compromised. Not in that it won't let water in, but that it's much wider than it used to be. So there has been some damage down here. I had a uh, listener tell me that there was some trash down here earlier, but I haven't found any of that. So that was either picked up by the Good Samaritans here or the town of Orville, which by the way is actually in charge of cleanup of Bedrock Park. I just found that out today. Also, uh, this reporting gig I have has made me learn a bunch of new things, I have to say. Um, Along those lines, speaking of reporting, I will be going to uh, Barbados uh, starting on June the 14th. And you would think that would stop me from reporting, but it won't. I will still be doing my best to follow everything that happens in Oroville, the town I love, but I will also be reporting from Barbados for all of you guys. Those of you who haven't seen it before, like me, I've never been to Barbados before. Um, so we're gonna go there for a week. We're also going to uh, take a cruise for a week from Barbados. Now I'm not sure of the, uh, I'm not sure how the communications will be, so I don't know if I'll be able to do daily updates. I will make them and post them as often as I can. I can't guarantee that I'll be doing that. You know, you'll get them every day, but I will do my best. I'm going to try to take my drone. I'm not sure if I'm a, allowed to fly in Barbados, but I have some other equipment that may cover that same, that same niche. So. Um, the good thing is that you will get to see a foreign country that I hear is very beautiful without having to leave your own home. So I'm really happy about to bring that to you guys. It's been a long time in the planning. I've got all the equipment I need to do it, so I'm really happy about that. So back to the Feather River. So I've walked up a little ways, and you can see right over there, that is the Burnham that I've reported on many times. Uh, let me turn around one more time here. The high water mark is right there. So that's as high as the last couple spills have been. But when I reported uh, in February, the water was up over the parking lot. So this has been, this is water is down quite a bit from where it was then. So we have, like I said, hopefully you can see the kayaker right there, but it's a beautiful day. You guys should definitely come down to Bedrock. It is repaired enough to where I think that you would have a good time. There are um, also Centennial Park is absolutely gorgeous right now. That has not been hurt at all. It was above the high water line. You should definitely check that out. And the whole path along the Feather River is actually pretty well maintained and didn't suffer too hard. Um, Riverbend Park is still closed. Excuse me for a moment. I have to edit that out. Uh, 
Okay, so Riverbend Park is still closed. So if you make sure that you do not go in that area, I hear that there was a water rescue there today that search and rescue had to come out to save somebody. Please don't be part of the problem. Don't come out and be part of the problem here. Uh, just make sure that you enjoy all that Orville has to offer, but don't sneak into Riverbend Park or anything like that and get in trouble and make it so the rest of us can't go there once it reopens. So that's my little preach for the day, preaching for the day. So this is what we have here today. It's a beautiful day, like I said. You guys should definitely get down or get get outside. How about that? Just get outside overall. Have a great day. I've been privileged to bring this to you. I was able to bring two meetings to you this week. Uh, they are both up on the YouTube channel. As always, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. That helps me out tremendously. And uh, like and subscribe to the 365. Like and subscribe to the um, YouTube channel. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Have a wonderful day. Bye.